So today's Spirit Day, and in honor of Spirit Day, you're supposed to wear purple. I am wearing purple. I feel like it's showing up blue. Maybe I'm wrong, but it is purple. Um, a color I love anyway, so it just works out great. I just wanted to talk about what I take away from something like Spirit Day. Because for me, it's not so much about picking a day, wearing a color, and showing support for anti-bullying. But today, we're showing especially young people that you're not alone. You don't stand alone, and you have people behind you even when you don't know it. So it's such a cool message. The whole day is, I myself have been learning so many facts I never knew just via Twitter, hashtag Spirit Day. Um, honestly, one of them that I was reading was in 1982, Wisconsin, my home state, don't often brag about that, they became the first state in the country to pass a national gay civil rights law. That's a really big deal. That's something to celebrate. That's kind of what this day's about. And it's how you learn to grow from the experiences you're put into. Those are the characteristics that are really going to show you what kind of a person you are. That's going to be what makes you feel whether you're staying true to yourself or you're trying to be somebody to impress others. And honestly, you learn so much through um, looking inside. I mean, if we start to think about it, it's 2015, people. We gotta start letting each other be who we really are. We gotta let each other experience life in our own way. And we gotta stop judging everybody for the choices they make. Whether we wanna wear pink eyeglasses or walk around in dresses as boys or play with trucks as girls or, you know, go into a field that is supposed to be predominantly something you're not, that's okay. It's okay to experience life differently than the masses. Honestly, it doesn't make sense to try to live like everybody else. It's not that fun. The fun in life is experiencing the life you want. It's traveling and talking to new people and getting to know yourself on the inside and standing up for your truth. That's the good part about life, that love and happiness come from that. And that's, that's what fills you up. You don't need all this exterior shit. Have fun with your look, especially for young kids. Why would we want to stifle the imagination of young kids? Like, we want them to dress up, be creative, um, join, join anything and everything you desire. If you're a boy and you want to join the theater, but you're scared that you'll be called a faggot, join the theater. You will make some of the best friends, you will really connect to people, you'll be more honest with yourself, and you'll look back and you were like, yeah, I was called some names. But it's, it's going to be a chapter in your life and that is it. It is going to be a moment you move on from. It is going to be something you get past. I had a lot of times in school that I thought these stigmas of what I was being called, whether it was faggot, whether it was making fun of my height and being a short guy, whatever the problem I was going through was that felt all-encompassing to me, I thought it was going to follow me the rest of my life, and the truth is it just doesn't. I just came to realize that even though I'm a man who happens to be gay, I am not a gay man that doesn't define me. I get to choose the categories of life that I want to explore. Honestly, I think Raven Simone, with that interview with Oprah, saying she doesn't want to be labeled as black or African American, and she doesn't want to be labeled as gay, straight, bi. She wants to experience life in her own way. She wants to go through things without labels that tell her how that needs to be. That's what the trans community is doing. Their movement is so important for the whole country. It's not you know, their battle with transitioning genders is a lot like all of our battles transitioning from being the person we want to be, that person on the inside that we know to be true, and the facade, the ego that we display to people every day on the outside world. And you know it's true watching this. If, if this kind of thing makes you upset, that's why. It's your ego. I remember those days where there were times in school I just didn't want to go back, whether it was I thought I was going to be bullied or picked on or made fun of or have to go through a presentation that I was going to be embarrassed the whole time. There are times that we all go through and just know you're not doing it alone. We've all been there 
Every person's experienced it. Every confident person you ever meet in your life has had struggles with insecurities. They've had their own battles. Just know that. You're not alone. You're not dealing with these issues alone, and especially the LGBT community. You have such a great support system right now. I mean, 2015 is such a better time. A lot of people have learned lessons. A lot of people are opening their minds. A lot of things are being accepted that weren't accepted 5, 10, 20 years ago. It's really huge. It's really huge. We're living through such a cool shift right now. And just know that. Know that nothing is worth being so sad that you just don't, you don't feel like you belong. Because you belong here. You belong here, and there's people who love you, and there's people who want you here. And just know that. And feel that inside. And keep repeating that to yourself on those hard days, and those days that the mean girls are picking on you, or the jock guys are making fun of you. You know, those days, it's one day. It's two days. It's a week. It's one year. But when you look back at age 45, at age 33, at age 26, you're going to laugh, and you're going to be like, Whoa, I thought that was the end of the world. And it, it isn't. It isn't. I mean, some shit gets so much harder, but it also gets better. And you experience such cool things. Let yourself grow up. Let yourself be okay with being you right now. Because the more you you are, the cooler you'll be. Guaranteed. Even that nerd. Even that geeky girl and that boy that's into karate and... The white kid who break dances and the black kid who plays the flute, all of them, they're all cool. And if you are really being true to who you are and you experiment with what you love and you're passionate about it and you're following your dream, you are going to be a success and people are going to love you. And maybe it's not in high school, maybe it's not in middle school, but you're going to get to that place where people love you and adore you and then want to show you respect for your talent. So follow it, follow your dreams. They're out there. They're for you to explore, not anybody else to tell you how to be. So remember that. Have a good day and happy spirit day.